You are watching a master at work. But you really have to make your, your um, value more than just deliverables. You know what I mean? Your, your value needs to be your mind. And that needs to start with early in your dialogue with your client and all the way through. Joseph, yes, I have, and I appreciate you. I'm going through everything in the next couple of days. Talk to you about what? What kind of gear? They're paying for your value, but you also got to understand what your value is. That's why the other day before that I asked, are you a business or are you an artist? Half of you guys said you're an artist. So for those who said you're an artist, you can't be upset if the client or the brand doesn't see the value in your content with you know, doing business with their brand because you're gonna do whatever you want. As opposed to if you're a business, you're gonna work your creativity for the best output for them. So that's why there's, that's why I asked that first. So, like for me, what I wanna do is bring your brand, your song, your artist, your vision to the masses, to the audience that we want to hit and not only hit them, but also tell them whatever message that we want to tell them, you know? And so these are the questions that you're going to ask as far as like, okay, what's the purpose of this video? What audience is it hitting? You can't do both. You can't do both. I'm telling you, you just can't do both. I mean, I, 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 I uh, fought that fight for many years, so. Definitely can't do both though. You gotta be an artist for the brand. Use your creativity to best tell their brand story, their brand message. That's the best thing you can possibly do. Who deserves some hype? Could you just email it to me? Email it. Shooting this weekend with a, uh, oh, what is this? What kind of writing is that? Oh no. Some camera gear. Hey, I got, the, I got this for Christian. Hold on, I'll be right back once. So this right here, what's your latest biggest project? It just depends on what biggest means. Biggest as far as the name, like biggest to you, because a lot of those projects are not the biggest budget, that's for sure. And they're not properly done. What's the project that I'm most excited about? It's probably the best question you should ask a creator. That's the one question I always ask is, uh, hey, you're working on anything you're excited about, none of you are working on anything. But this lens right here, $50, 1.17, Have I ever took a job in, it's called um, Fujian China. Amazing. Fifty dollars. Have I ever took a job in one day notice? Yes, I have. Uh, Common Nas Ghetto Dreams. Uh, they were going to be in the studio recording some of their voiceovers. They called, asked if I wanted to uh, shoot the video. I shot the whole music video in a freaking hallway in a recording studio with no treatment on a 5D. on <sighs> can you see the room no 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 that's uh you know that's uh, something you gotta say for those who 
get blessed and get the honor of coming over. But nice try. Fujian. Take a deal. It's it's crazy. It's fifty dollars. A shout out to Mr. Jonathan Olivio. Go spam him. Fifty dollars. You can actually buy it on Amazon. And it's crazy. It's it's amazing. So that's my little tip on equipment. Why Sony? Because Sony's pretty amazing. I mean, oh, well, thank you. It's an honor having you here. Focal length, it's a 50. Oh, excuse me, 35. But it's, is it a 50 or No, it's a 50. Black Magic, I haven't really shot too much on the Black Magic. Alexa, red, Sony. That's what I do normally. Sony's great just for low light. It's awesome. It's like the equivalent to a 5D or 7D, which I started pretty much all my, uh, you know, I shot Ocho Cinco, French Montana, MGK on the 5D. I shot Logic. All these people on the 5D, this came out, it was way better, so I jumped to this thing. I shot on the A7S III. Nightmare, when editing, nightmare. But, you know, I haven't really shot too much with the uh, Black Magic because the batteries always die. But it's not about equipment, guys, because <laughs> regardless of what equipment you have, no, it's called Fujian China. I'll take a picture. But regardless of what equipment you have, it doesn't matter because your clients are not going to pay for it. So if you don't establish the value in yourself. Oh, man. You guys are going to... You guys can't ask these type of questions and then get mad or get frustrated when you're not getting budgets or people to pay you properly because you're so worried about equipment. Yeah, the A7 III is a beast, it's just the uh, DaVinci Resolve didn't allow the Kodak. So I had to export each file through Adobe Premiere, Apple ProRes 422, export it out, 4K, bring it into DaVinci, export my proxies, add it with it, bring it back into Da Vinci and then color grade. So yeah, it was a pain in the ass. No, do I have any narrative work in the pipeline? No, right now I'm all about building brands, whether it's artists or other companies or other influencers or um, celebrities. So it just depends on what the actual um, job entails, you know what I mean? Um, for like anything under like 10 grand, it's just kind of like me and a camera. Um, but as you get over, you know, 10, 20, 30 type, 30 and 50,000, then, you know, you get into like, you know, full crew, 15, 20 people. Exactly. But, they, but the thing is that you have to be able to focus on the value that you bring and the, that you bring to them, you know? It's about them, not you, and not the equipment you want to use, it's about them. So it's not even about the equipment, because realistically, what are you gonna tell a brand? Oh, my camera will bring your brand more value? No, because anybody can shoot either the same or higher resolution than you can. It's about your mind, what you can do with this. I'm just trying to make you guys some money. That's all. Yeah, you want to, you know. So it's it's about that and pitching that as opposed to what this is, you know. Hey, Matt, it's a good decision to be a content creator in 2021. 
it is more than a good idea to be a content creator in 2021. It is the most vital and crucial component to any brand strategy or brand um, building. So yes, but you have to be in it for the brand and in it for others, not yourself. So it's not about you as an artist. Your artistry comes into play, being able to take their brand story, turning it into a video and delivering it to the audience. And not only delivering it, but delivering it to the audience in a way that's going to connect and resonate and make them want to purchase or listen or interact with the brand, which is your client. So if you can do that and you just manage to get away just from a little bit of like the red and the techno cranes, then yes. But if you're going to focus on the equipment, go get a nine to five, do filmmaking as a hobby. No, I can't do Clubhouse. I can't do Clubhouse. I don't have the patience. I like like interacting like this. I can't imagine how Club... I, I was on Clubhouse a couple times and it was just like... I felt like I was on like a 10-way call in high school. Hmm. I'm actually going to be doing this thing called Mentor Cam. And uh, you guys will be able to ask me questions through there. So... Yeah, listen to Lance. I don't know who Lance is. I just can't do it. And I'm like, dude, I'm working right now. I got a million things to do. Party line, I'm much rather just go to a party. It's like the last thing I want to do is just hear a bunch of people talking. Yeah, do your thing, bro. I mean, I, w I would like to invite you guys to actually come on live with me, but I just don't know who's going to be cool and who's going to be wild what style techniques I think what style or techniques are going to be big this year whatever style or technique fits that brand you know like the, the biggest style and techniques are the ones that are incorporated for the brand example I think it was Beats by Dre with uh, Joshua it was a commercial where they you know the headphone and the, the, whole, the whole image spun around and everything that creator put his creativity and just gave it to the brand as far as you know, making his creativity work for the brand. And he came up with that idea and that just boom, blew up. And it was amazing. And, and that was an amazing campaign. So I think anything that you, anything that you're able to embody or that you're able to, you know, give yourself to, then I think it's gonna be amazing. What is the, Matt, what is the moment that you think you should say no? Mm. If they can't answer these three simple questions, what's your budget? When do you want to shoot? And do you have any ideas? If they can't answer that exactly like that, then don't do it until they can. What are, what is it called? Nah, let's do it tomorrow. Let's get rowdy tomorrow. I gotta, uh, want to say what up. but really guys I, I think filmmaking or at least on Instagram and like I don't even call it filmmaking because we're not making films okay I went to I went to school as a feature film director I studied and got my degree in feature films I was a you know assigned to ICM as a feature film director but I'm not a filmmaker yet so I am a video maker so I think we should understand you know because what I want to do is bring you guys value right now. If you look on these filmmaker pages or all these tutorials, yeah, they might help you down the road, but they don't actually help you get business right now because you're not a filmmaker. You're not making films. Unless you are making films, shout out to you. But if you're, you, you're aspiring to make films, but you right now you're trying to pay your rent making videos, then you should be focusing on video, video making. And uh, I'm going to be the one to bridge that gap. I'm going to help you guys out. And... Um, you know, do I want to make films? Yes, I want to make films. That's the goal. But right now, I'm focusing on managing Christian Gates, who is a star. And like I said, I'm doing a few other um, big accounts. And I'm going more into agencies. Like, I'm going more into an agency than just a uh, Matt Alonzo. So I'm giving all my value to others. 
many days do you stick on one project? All right, how many days do you stick on one project? Shooting, editing, as long as it takes. Sometimes I've worked on one project for 35 days, 40 days. Sometimes I've worked on one project for one day. So, as long as it takes. And you should think about this before you're going into it. You know? Think about it. That's why I put that, um, the hour breakdown, because that was an hour breakdown. I mean, the, you know, the time break, breakdown. And that was just me thinking like, okay, if I'm gonna make a 60 second video for someone's Instagram, how long would that take? And that's what I came up with. So, um, do I have a rep? Not anymore. I, uh, I was actually rep by one of the biggest music video reps and then I was, I was signed to ICM and they were my rep. Um, but uh, I just didn't feel like writing on everything and I didn't wanna, I, I didn't wanna, you know, keep them hanging, so. I keep on passing on everything, so. How much do you charge for editing? I don't, I don't edit anybody else's video. And if I, if I am gonna uh, edit someone else's video, I'll charge like 10 grand. And 99% of people will say no. Cause I just, I just, I don't like to edit other people's projects. But if you just want to be an editor, you should just break down, you know, your hours and then also your, and then add on top of it, your value and your working credentials. Cause you can say you have a bunch of value, but if all you've done is like a, a project for, you know, your, your little sister, then you, it's good that you have that sort of mind frame, but you're not gonna be able to get that value. So, you know. Well, you gotta be honest with your value and you can't just be out here like, I, I know my value, like some of these type of people. No, 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 because that's not know your value, that's called overvalue yourself. Um, know your value is really just being honest and saying, how well do I know this compared to the next person? And um, that's it. All right, guys. $50. I got this whole setup right here for How much have you earned now? Is it worth editing? Yeah, I still love editing, but I'm not only a, uh, I, don't, I don't like editing for other people anymore. Well, actually I never really did a few times. What challenges did you face as a beginner on set? Um, Overprepared was my biggest problem. Man, I came with a shot list like this big. That was like my, and game, game was like, yo, bro, you're crazy. What do you want me to do? And he, he, he thought it was hilarious. Yeah, Josh, you're out of control. See what see what see what a couple of these uh, clubhouse hangouts done to you, man. Thousand dollars. I bought this used A7S2. Shot music videos. Oh no, it, dude, it was well detailed. And games like, what do you want me to uh, what do you want me to do? And I'm like, all right, did you get the shot list uh, this week? So if you go to uh, 2C-6ZA27, it says here, game walks out, medium shot, the camera goes back. He's like, bro, what? Where do you want me to stand? It was hilarious. All right, guys. You already know what it is. If uh, you haven't already, you want to work with me, share your stuff. Yeah, Josh is a clubhouser, dude. I'm trying to engage. I ain't trying to be on those three-way calls. Tomorrow we'll do some, uh, I'll, I'll have you guys join. All right. Ladies, you already know what it is. Blow up. What up? Do I always have treatments written? So you write. Do I always have treatments written? No, I write treatments, you know, as, as the things come in, but I don't write a treatment until the deposit's put down. 10% non refundable. And uh, I was scared shitless to do that, to, put, to, to ask people for a deposit, but it, it weeds them out quickly. Come swoop that light or DM me a place to send. 
Oh, yeah, for sure. I'll meet you up right after this. But I'll be loading up my DMs. DMs are for the ladies only.